Hello guys, I got an overwhelming response for um, the items that I tell my infertility clients to swap out immediately. Um, there is a longer list, but right now I'm gonna share my top four things. So this is actually something that I go over in one of our very first meetings. If you haven't swapped out these three or four things, then uh, they're the first things to go for me. So number one uh, is your deodorant you're not using all natural deodorant, you are messing with your hormones. Deodorant has all sorts of nasty, nasty stuff in it. So you have to think that deodorant was originally created to stop us from sweating. And it wasn't until we realized that that wasn't healthy that we were like, okay, so we'll kind of slow down the sweating. Um, not good. Your body's meant to sweat. That's how we detox. That's how we regulate our temperature. That's how you get over sicknesses. Sweat is a really, really good thing, especially, especially, especially if you're growing a tiny human or you're trying to make space in a body to grow a tiny human. I use Primally Pure deodorant. I love it. I've been with them for over a year now. This is probably my five or six fifth or sixth order of this deodorant um it lasts me a while i'm not a super sweaty person and when i do sweat it's not usually all that smelly um smelly sweat happens from genetics absolutely but it also has a lot to do with what you're eating so if you're finding that your sweat is super smelly and you're worried that natural deodorant might not be for you I encourage you to try it. It's worth getting rid of all the yucky stuff in your deodorant. And then I encourage you to look at your diet because that seems to be the underlying problem. Uh, the next two things are what I use on my face. So my face is very important to me. I love my face. I like to look at my face. I have a lot of pride in not using a lot of stuff on my body. Um, I do take great pride in that. I try and be as natural as possible. For a while, I was using just coconut oil and it was working great. Um, and then my skin transitioned a little bit and it became too oily for me. Um, so now, I do use um, still oil. Um, not a lot of people will want to use oil on their face as a moisturizer. For me, my skin just had to go through a little bit of a transition. Um, and now, if I don't put this oil on, my face is like WTF. Um, but I use Coco Kind in the morning. This is their chia seed oil. Um, you can get it at Whole Foods, you can get it off of their website. And I like it because it's light. Uh, the smell is a little funky. So if you're not used to chia seeds, uh, then you will have to get used to it. But now I love it. I smell it and like, mm, it just makes me feel cozy. In the evenings, I use something a little heavier because my face is gonna be up against pillows. I had been out in the world all day. I've touched my face all day. I've had kiddos touch my face all day. I might have been in the hospital. I might have been in other people's homes, um, especially here in the Boston weather. It gets really dry and so I use something a little bit thicker. I actually am back with Palm Primarily Pure and I use their fa fancy face serum. Um, the two things or the things that I love about these two products is that there's no perfume in them. There's no natural fragrance. Those words, those buzzwords, those um, fragrances and perfumes and any sort of smell goods, um, hormone disruptors, they will absolutely get you. Um, yeah. Don't put stuff on your body that has perfume and fragrances in there, guys. Um, so deodorant, morning oil, evening oil, and then I, I just wouldn't be able to tell you um, this segment without bringing in my Thinks underwear. So if you are still using regular tampons, um, you know, the big name brands that we all know, you're looking at more hormone disruptors, you guys. There are so many things in tampons. It's so yucky and they don't have to disclose it to you and they don't even probably know what's in it themselves. Um, really, 
think about it. So I love things underwear. Um, I actually don't use tampons anymore at all. Um, I thought about the cup, but it's not my thing. Pads are not my thing. And um, last year I had a really, really bad run with getting my IUD put in. And if you want more on that story, you can listen to it on the podcast. It's um, episode 34-ish, 5-ish, 6-ish in there. Um, it's actually about setting boundaries with your body. So go check that out. But thanks underwear. So you can see that they come in different styles. I have several pair. Um, they also hold different amounts of blood. Um, so this is two tampons worth. This is a thong and it is only a half a tampons worth. Um, I love Thinks Underwear. I have people who use them in postpartum. I have people who have swapped to natural tampons and use this as you would a pad. Um, and then you have people like me who just use these underwear. I've never had a leak. I've never had a problem um, with the underwear being filled up or feeling gross. I've never gotten an infection. Um, they come with instructions on how to clean them. So as long as you follow that, you should be all set with the hygiene. So I hope this was helpful. There is a full blog coming with um, lots of things, but you can see I have swapped out a lot of my personal care products as well as my feminine hygiene products. So I hope this was helpful. Stay tuned for the vlogs. Bye villagers.